Hello guys, welcome to a new series. Uh, this is going to be a let's build. It's going to be a let's build a mining village, uh, which I decided I wanted to build a village, but just not an ordinary one. I wanted to have something unique, which. Uh, so I decided to go with the mining village uh, because of the ravine next to it. I uh, decided in this episode to start off by building the town hall, which you can see uh, I'm marking out now. With Skype going off in the background, but yeah, marking it out with pillars, and um, I wanted to use some different materials, different shapes, different designs than I usually use. Um, because I usually tend to stick with one set of materials. And that's usually stone bricks, uh, logs, and spruce wood. So this, so in this I wanted to uh, use maybe some different types of wood. And uh, I also wanted to, with the new 1.5 update, I wanted to use some quartz. So you can see I'm just adding some. I've mapped out the building, which is, um, it's quite large, but as it's the town hall, you don't want it to be small. And um, yeah, I've started, after I've finished planning it out, mapping it out, adding some quartz pillars. And these will act as supports for the second floor. You can see it fitting them around the arch was quite difficult. So I decided to leave that and come back to that later. And uh, instead just do the rest of the uh, pillars. So as you can see, I've capped off the uh, front bit there with some logs and just carrying on around the sides with the quartz pillars. So, just finishing off these last couple of pillars as I set it today there. And, um, so yeah, so once I'd finished those, I came back down and filled in the side panels. Because I tend to build in a very structured way if that makes sense I'll work through one bit at a time I, uh, I'll make rather than making sort of one section I'll map out the entire house and then just add bits to it um, all in one go you can see I came back to the arch here with some of the quartz steps And um, it's important when you're making an arch not to, if you're using steps, not to just uh, put them, you know, all on the same sort of diagonal slope, if that makes sense. Because otherwise it turns it into a more of a straight line. So if you just add in like blocks. You know, 
it will uh, it will make it look a lot better. Now you can see here I'm adding in the uh, base of the second floor. And I uh, wanted a gap between the first and second floor, so I decided to add some stairs and then build so uh, build coming up from the court sort of support pillar. As you can see, just finishing off the front. Then I came around and I didn't want to use steps on the second level so I was wondering what I wanted to use for that what I wanted to do and um, I couldn't decide so I decided to fill in the front entrance the main entrance now as you can see instead of using spruce I decided to use birch and then just used quartz to fill in the rest of it and um, I eventually settled for uh, spruce wood slabs for the second tier as you can see here so I just went around the quartz blocks with spruce slabs and then built up the walls of the second floor and, uh, I followed up the uh, support beams from the first wall, but with using these stairs, added a break between them, so it didn't look too. So it flowed quite nicely while also looking different. Once again, I, I used birch to fill in the walls. And as you can see, I've left gaps for windows. But then I didn't know what to do with the arch when it came to that. So I decided to build a larger arch behind that that would be act as a peak in the roof and then it came to doing the actual roof which I tend to stick with one style with the roofs which is a uh, this one that you can see here sort of small arches over the windows and um, it's important when you're building something like this especially if you want it to look good and all fit together nicely and flow well. Uh, you don't want to build something that takes away from everything else. You don't want something that just draws your eye. You want it to look... you want it to flow quite nicely. So uh, these peaks, although they are quite fancy and flashy, uh, with the arch on the pillars it's not it it doesn't take away from the rest of the build so then I did some more on going around each of the windows as you can see just working on the side if you were uh, on a tutorial on any of these buildings that are featured in the let's build um, I'd be more than happy to uh, build one and you know just record over it and do a tutorial because especially when you're watching it sped up and you know it can be quite hard to sort of see which step goes where which you know block 
you know, goes where, what, which way the stair faces, whether it's upside down, you know, little details like that. So if you just say, then I'd be more than happy to put on, put a uh, tutorial up. And then I came around, joined these arches up to the back wall with some corner stairs, which is quite difficult because if you get one sort of the wrong way around, which I know sounds like it's really stupid, but if it's a if you go sort of like to the outside if that makes sense rather than going inwards it will completely mess up the entire roof and if you don't notice it straight away and fix it then it turns it's not a problem until you reach the very very top and which then at that point you've got to rip down the entire roof so I was trying to be careful not to not to make that mistake as you can see, I added some little flicks to the end of the peaks, just with a backward stare. And now you can see the three arches on the front as well. And as you get sort of further up the roof, it stops being as sort of curved and goes into more of like a blocky shape. So that can be quite difficult to make look to make it look good. Then I just finished off the roof and as you can see there I the steps in the corners where there's sort of four corner steps in like a square sort of shape can be quite annoying to get right because they'll just try to connect to each other. So it's quite difficult. Now you can see the finished roof with the slabs up on top and then oh okay well I guess uh, <laughs> sorry about that but um yeah so you can see just capping off the roof with the wooden slabs and then once the main building was complete, it was time to tackle the details on it. And um, I tend to use vines and leaves. And you can see here, I'm just adding some more uh, pillars just to make it flow a bit, flow a bit better. But yeah, I tend to use vines and leaves and uh, bushes and stuff like that. Alright guys, so we're here doing the final uh, walkthrough of the town hall. I've added a couple of little details like the vines and the leaves up on the roof and, you know. Uh, I haven't furnished it inside. Oh. Bollocks. Um, I've added a 
a couple of torches and stuff which if you're wondering how to make these uh, torch uh, like rock things if you put down a item frame with a cobblestone wall in it then aim at the block behind except I can't because that's a stair uh, go like that it makes the item frame uh, whatever <laughs> but yeah I haven't really furnished it inside um, and but outside is I'm pretty glad with it I you know I haven't you I haven't ever made buildings with quartz before so but I think it turned out well and I think next episode we'll probably tackle our first miners house or maybe the port going out so they can ship all the ores and uh, stone and whatnot. But yeah. So, uh, do you want to say hi, Owen? Hey. hey. I was trying to be quiet, but you know. Well, I heard you snickering. Shh. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that that was uh, episode one of the let's build a mining village and uh, I'll see you guys for the next episode